Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Let's talk about Bitcoin and of course what is happening in the crypto market this morning. So last night we saw Bitcoin above 43,000. It was around 43.4 to 43.5k. Okay, so a couple hours later, here we are and we are facing a slight drop right now for bitcoin just below forty three thousand dollars now if we go to the one hour time frame you guys can just clearly see bitcoin is in fact having a slight drop nothing too crazy though okay just having a slight drop and i told you guys okay we could potentially you know who knows when but shortly in my personal opinion i've been talking about this you know been mentioning this a fair few times that we will potentially most likely see bitcoin going back down okay having a correction back down to around 40 to even 39 to 38 to even $35,000, guys. Okay, that's just personally my opinion, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are, in fact, predicting this, the exact same thing, right? That we are, in fact, going to see Bitcoin having another pullback back down to the downside, right? But yeah, Bitcoin right now is, in fact, having a slight drop. Okay, now it's below $43,000. Okay, so in my opinion, it's still holding very, very strong. The entire crypto market today for the past, you know, 24 hours, um, it's not looking better than it was yesterday. You know, yesterday we saw a fair few old coins skyrocketing. Okay, um, look at Solana for example. For the past week, seven days, it's up twenty percent. And yesterday, you know, Solana was up like over seven percent, right? And today it's pretty much down slightly, right? So today, not much movements in the crypto market. A fair few old coins are down, you know, two percent, right? Some are down. You know over one percent right not much movements is happening some are down three percent five percent right you guys can just clearly see that so it seems like we are in fact seeing um a bit more dips um today than you know yesterday right yesterday you know majority of all coins were absolutely skyrocketing um but yeah ethereum still holding strong at two point three thousand dollars and it's slightly up today 1.2 percent which is not too bad um, and you guys can clearly see the global crypto market cap, okay, is now at 1.67 trillion. And overall, the market today is pretty much up 0.50%. So, yeah, not much movements uh, for the crypto market today, guys. But let's talk about altcoins real quick. I'm telling you right now, altcoins, okay, are going to absolutely skyrocket. We know the next crypto bull run is coming. We're about to enter the next bull market. And I understand, guys, yes. Bitcoin is going to skyrocket, but it's not just going to be Bitcoin. It's also going to be altcoins. Alt season is right around the corner, guys. Okay, and it says here, okay, this is the altcoin market cap um, chart. And you guys can clearly see um, altcoin market cap is grinding up slowly. Okay, so price is in a uptrend after 500 plus days of consolidation and sideways price action. Okay, and that's a very, very long time, guys. And it says here also, dips and pullbacks are for buying. And that is obviously true, right? We all know that. Uh, the real altcoin bull market has not even started. And that is very, very true, guys. Even though, yes, we have been seeing a lot of altcoins gaining back its momentum. For example, we have been seeing Solana. Okay, Solana has been absolutely skyrocketing. Okay, absolutely skyrocketing. And I'm going to talk more. You know, I'm going to make a video talking about Solana, uh, my potential where I see Solana in the next, you know, bull cycle. And of course, you know, it's future because I really do believe Solana is one of those altcoins that, you know, will perform very, very well in the next, you know, bull cycle, guys. I really do believe Solana has the potential to potentially reach back up to its previous all-time highs and of course, reaching a new all-time high, right? So we know Solana has been absolutely pumping for the past few months, right? Um, also Cardano has been pumping, Avalanche has been pumping, Chainlink has also been pumping as well. We know that a breakthrough, okay, a break out of that, um, $10 range. Um, Polygon has been, you know, performing pretty well as well. So yeah, a fair few old coins have in fact been gaining back its momentum, right? Especially Solana. So understand guys, what we have in fact been seeing for, you know, old coins, Okay, yes, they have in fact been pumping, but they're still cheap in my opinion, right? Majority of these altcoins are still nowhere near back up to its previous all-time high. So it's still a great time to buy, you know, into altcoins. But I understand, guys, right? Alt season, like I said, is right around the corner. Okay, it's right around the corner. So understand, 
a lot of these altcoins, the majority of these altcoins in the crypto market will absolutely skyrocket. So you still have time to buy into you know your favorite altcoins and accumulate more, right? So that's that. Now let's talk about Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin right now falling wedge breakout. Okay, so Bitcoin is in fact forming um, this falling wedge breakout, and you can see it didn't in fact have this support level, right? And it is in fact breaking out of this falling wedge, um, uh, falling wedge breakout, right? So this is really, really bullish for Bitcoin. Obviously, you guys can just clearly see that, right? So we will see, okay, what's going to happen with Bitcoin, you know, in the next, you know, upcoming few days and of course few weeks. But I'm still sticking with Bitcoin having another, you know, correction back down to the downside. Even though yes, it seems pretty bullish right now. But in my opinion, I think this is just a bull trap, right? This is just personal my opinion, right? Just like with ETFs being approved, we know a couple of weeks ago, um, Bitcoin spot ETFs were officially approved, right? And we would expect Bitcoin to have a massive pump, okay? Like we would all expect Bitcoin to at least reach over 50K, but that didn't happen. In fact, the complete opposite happened and Bitcoin had a correction back down to the downside. It had a dip, right? So this is pretty much a trap, guys right pretty much so we're gonna see and sometimes this does in fact happen um but yes speaking about you know etfs and whatnot uh blackrock and fidelity now own a combined hundred and seven thousand six hundred ninety six uh thousand bitcoins over a hundred thousand bitcoins guys combined okay and that's worth you know around 4.6 billion dollars for their spot bitcoin etfs 107,600 Bitcoins. You guys can just imagine, right? That is obviously a lot. Okay, and that's obviously a lot of money. So understand, all of these institutions are in fact continuing to buy as much Bitcoin as they possibly can. Every single day, BlackRock is buying a whole bunch of Bitcoin for deadly and a lot more other institutions are in fact buying a whole bunch of Bitcoins every single day. Understand guys, BlackRock, for example, they want to take your Bitcoins, right? Do not sell your Bitcoins, guys. Okay, continue to buy and hold for long term. Okay, so that's that. But yeah, this is something that I really wanted to talk about for today's video because it's pretty interesting, I must say. This is <laughs> this is very interesting, I must say. Okay, so this chart right here is showing you guys, okay, when Bitcoin's gonna reach pretty much a hundred thousand dollars right there, hundred thousand dollars, and of course one million dollars understand guys yes eventually we're gonna see bitcoin reach one million dollars okay but when and that's exactly what i want to talk about this is actually pretty interesting so it says here from CryptoCon, he tweeted this out that bit x shows how i believe bitcoin price moves up uh, multiples of 10x okay um and it says here remains right on track along the projected uh curve and it says that bitcoin should be at least a hundred thousand dollars for the cycles top and i think you know we're gonna see bitcoin over a hundred thousand dollars easily right i've been telling us many times you know bitcoin sometime this year alone in 2024 we're gonna see it at 100k you know potentially the end of this year in 2024 we're gonna see bitcoin at one hundred thousand dollars okay and of course next year in 2025 it's gonna get even crazier 2025 we're obviously gonna be in a huge you know crypto bull run Okay, we're going to be in a bull market. So that means Bitcoin's going to pump even more. And I think we're going to see Bitcoin's new all-time high around 200K to even over 300K, right? I don't think it's going to be at 100K. You know, 100K is going to easily going to happen, right? Bitcoin's previous all-time highs was around, you know, 69K. So it's going to easily reach back up to its previous highs and reach a new high. But I don't think it's going to be 100K. I think it's going to be right around 200K to even... 300k i think that is very very possible for bitcoin for the next bull cycle right i mean also says here this is why bitcoin was not able to reach 100k last cycle it could have taken two cycles from the last double and at the end here it says and this is pretty interesting now it says it will take four cycles or 16 years to reach 1 million dollars all by november 28th 2041 okay so apparently okay um in the next 16 years or so all by november 28th of 2041 the year 2041 this is when bitcoin's going to reach okay a million dollars per coin but we know okay this may not be true you know everyone's predictions 
um, is different. But we know someone like Kathy Wood, okay? And I've been talking about this a fair few times, right? Um, Kathy Wood, right? Um, sees Bitcoin's price reaching at least $1.5 million by 2030 after ETF approval. So we know, okay? And by the way, this article was released uh, January 12th of this year. Okay, so early, you know, this year, um, you know, early of January, um, this is when this article was pretty much posted. So we already know that ETFs were officially approved, right? So we know that. Um, and of course, if we see Bitcoin at $1.5 million in less than a decade from now, you know, by the year 2030, that is the most bullish scenario, right? So the most bullish scenario, we're going to see Bitcoin around, you know, $1.5 um, million and I'm pretty sure Kathy Wood she has said the most bearish scenario okay if we don't see Bitcoin at 1.5 million it will be around six hundred thousand or seven hundred thousand dollars I believe right or I think it was around two eighty thousand dollars I believe correct me if I'm wrong right but I really do believe okay by the year 2030 okay we're for sure gonna see Bitcoin over at least I don't know at least eight, over eight hundred thousand dollars to a million I think it's very very possible Right, just looking at the Bitcoin charts, I don't think we're gonna see Bitcoin, you know, at a million dollars by the year, you know, twenty forty one. It's pretty questionable, right? Like it could happen. Who knows? It could, you know, potentially take this long, right? It could potentially take four cycles. Who knows? But we will see, guys. Okay, we will see. And this is pretty realistic, to be honest, right? This is probably, I would say, the most bearish scenario ever. If we do see Bitcoin reaching, you know, a million dollars per Bitcoin. Right, this is probably the most bearish scenario, I would say. Right, or realistic. Right, no one actually potentially knows where Bitcoin is heading. Who knows when Bitcoin's going to reach a million dollars? Right, it could take longer than 2041, 2041, or it could take sooner. Right, who knows, guys? But that is that. Okay, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what is your personal thoughts. When do you guys actually see Bitcoin reaching a million dollars per Bitcoin? Let me know. I'd love to know. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.